So the purpose of this video is to just share a suggestion, an analogy I came up with regarding how to approach programming. So for anybody who might struggle with this, I mean, the motivation for this very short video is I just constantly find people online and in real life who seem to be at a loss on how to learn this and like internalize these lessons. The basis of this is I just thought, what if you use the same approach to coding as you do for training for a sport? So what do people in sports do to become better at that sport? Well, there's a lot of things. So here I'm going to say the game is coding. And being part of a team and playing a game is one of the greatest rewards I've ever experienced in life. What are some of the things I did? Stretching and coding might look like uh, you taking something on you can't quite handle, you understand a little bit, but each time you stretch yourself looking at more and more complex code. If you were to weightlift code, that might look like uh, you taking pieces or plates from other uh, people, other projects, and piecing them together to create a larger and larger program, uh, pushing yourself, seeing if you can uh, build a larger program each time with each rep. Then, we, of course, we just have these drills. I call them code katas which is a reference to martial arts. So I try to do at least one code kata a day. That is where I just whip up a solution to a small problem. And there are plenty of uh, little coding challenges and problems out there on the internet. Here in the classroom, I just have printouts of problems to go over. Here we have studying film. That's important in coding. So watch others code and others problem solve. YouTube, again, full of this stuff. Don't forget to take breaks or you'll injure yourself. Coding is such a mental exercise, you really do need those breaks. Also learn other information outside of your particular sport. So Steve Nash, a well-known NBA player, used to talk about how great it was he, uh, his experience in soccer was for his success in basketball. For coders, I suggest you know as much as you can about hardware and networking and anything else that relates to moving electrons around. And of course, I put reading is reading, so I used to read sports magazines. Nowadays, people have their phones instead of like real life magazines. But I still suggest you read blogs about coding. And my last one I think is really important too. You should have professional role models. I used to look up to Michael Jordan when I was young. I'll create a list in a separate video, but yeah, I suggest you have a professional role model. People who are unknown, well-known programmers. This approach might help you be productive, to learn a skill that might be helpful in your future. I mean, if you're using an approach like this, you might strengthen your brain muscle.